good frosty morning. It's 24 degrees out this morning. It is nice and chilly. It's not a cloud in the sky. The sun is coming out. I love sunny days. It charges me up and it charges the batteries back up for our off-grid house and the workshop. So it's always a good day when you see the sun this time of the year out here feeding the new egg layers. And I don't know, I've never had chickens lay this early in the morning before. Usually my chickens are always later in the day, but we have two eggs there. We have one egg here that just came out. It is nice and wet still. That's three. And then there was four laid first thing this morning on the pasture. So we've got seven eggs already today from these new chickens and they're just starting to lay these red stars. So far are turning out to be awesome egg layers and they're just starting. So can't wait to see the, how they do all winter long and then come springtime, what kind of production they get into. But yeah, if you guys are looking for any new egg layers, I'd highly suggest the red stars from McMurray Hatchery. We're having great luck with them so far. It's early, but man, they're doing good. Are you looking for an egg? So usually if I find an egg that's been laid on the pasture that's dirty or wet, I give it to Brutus. So every morning when we're out here doing chores, he's looking to see if he's gonna get an egg. And today is no different. You gotta take it. You gonna take it? I mean, who doesn't like eggs for breakfast? I know it's my favorite way to start the day. Nice cup of coffee, bacon, eggs, some hash browns. Mm, so good. Yeah, it's making me hungry. Good morning, girls. You waiting patiently for breakfast? <clears throat> All right, so we got all of our rafters up, the soffits up. We need to get it strapped. We didn't strap it yesterday because it was cold and super windy. So we did a couple other things. We put the solar lights up on the fence posts. We didn't have any sun yesterday, so they never charged up. So we weren't able to test them out last night. Tonight, we should be able to see what the solar lights look like. We're getting a ton of sun and it's a perfect day to get the strapping up. So let me get the 754 over here with the pallet on it. We'll get that lift up and then I'll get a measurement and we can start cutting our strap in and get that up. So we are building a building to put our cattle squeeze chute underneath. So we can't wait to move this, get us out of the middle of our barnyard. Oh, can you not be on the roof? Al's gonna have to rescue it again. Come on, don't go up there. Okay, eek. Why do you go up there and then you meow? Oh my gosh. Cats. One of the things I really like about this tractor is it has a self-leveling feature on the loader. So I have the pallet forks like this. No matter when I'm raising them, they always stay level. Same oh. with the bucket. I figured you were gonna like that forest. So it's really nice to be able to just always have the pallets or whatever you're using stay where you have them. What do you say, mister? Coming up here to join you. Is that okay? I think you should put him down. Because you're going to step on him or something. I'm not going to step on him. Oh, He's gone. He doesn't like having to share with me. He's like, I'm out of here. You probably don't know what you're going to be doing with that thing. All right, so we are 191 and a half. I should have made it half inch longer and we wouldn't have had to cut the two by four. What the heck? We I should know, always right? think of this stuff. We always think of this after. Sheesh. I should have been thinking of that. All right, so even if I made the roof 16 feet even, that wouldn't have worked out because this two by four is 192 inches and three quarters. So it's three quarters of an inch over 16 feet. So you still would have had to cut a little bit? So I still would have had to cut it either way. 
so that wouldn't have saved well, me. Well, it's all—it's better to be longer than to be short. Yeah, it is. All right, we'll get these first two up. Make sure we like the measurement before I cut them all. All right, now we gotta move to the other side. That sun feels amazing today. Hope once I got this to here, so I'm gonna have to pull this out. Like to there, get a screw in this, just tack it, and then work my way from that end down for the ladder. I was hoping if I went like this, all this would be straight, but this two by four is too crooked. So if I go like that, it lines up. All right, next, straight across now. If you get stuck up there, I can't even bring you supper because... You can't even bring me supper? You'll have to use a, you'll have to use a ratchet strap to bring it up to you. I'll need supper at least. Well, you're going to have to get it from down below. Ratchet strap it up to you. Uh, oh my
Well, it looks like our animals have a hard life here on the homestead. Oh, I'm sorry, did I wake you, sir? <laughs> Cats have got a rough life, don't they? I'm kind of jealous. Mm. <laughs> All right, so this next one, I'm not gonna go two feet on center. I'm gonna cheat it up some, because I want it to fall on eight feet with the overhang, because we're gonna be doing this out of two pieces of tin. We have tin that's eight feet long, so that'll go on the top and then the rest of it will go down below. So I wanna make sure we have a piece of strapping on the eight foot mark with the overhang up above. Did you check to see what we had for 10? Yeah, I checked the other day. We have eight footers and then, so it'll go eight feet and then we got another piece that's like six feet. Is it warmer up there? No, but the sun feels nice. We've got seven and a quarter, so I need to get a 16 foot long two by eight so we can cover this up with a nice fascia. Staying hydrated is really important, and especially this time of the year, I find it super hard to stay hydrated when I'm working outside and it's cold out. That's why I want to thank Element for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Element, they are a sugar-free electrolyte drink. There's none of the bad stuff, but all of the good stuff that your body needs. This time of the year, it's hard to stay hydrated when it's cold out. I don't always just want to drink water. So that's where Element comes in. Right now they have chocolate flavors. They have their chocolate melodies. They are delicious. Right now they have chocolate mint, chocolate raspberry, and chocolate chai. They are delicious. You might think, eh, chocolate electrolyte drink? That's kind of weird. But you put it in warm water. I put a little milk in there and it makes its own little hot chocolate mix. So good. It's warm, there's no sugar and I can stay hydrated in the cooler weather while warming up my insides. And when we're working outside this time of the year, it's always nice to be able to warm yourself up and stay hydrated at the same time. One of the nice things about Elvin is, is there's no sugar added and it doesn't taste fake. It tastes delicious. So I quit sugar over three months ago now and I've been doing really good and Element's been helping me with that because if I have a craving for something other than water or black coffee, I can have an Element. They make sparkling drinks with all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. This one is citrus. That is delicious. Element has so many different flavors to choose from. It is awesome, the selection they have. They have some weird flavors. Some of you might think like, that ain't gonna go together, but I'll tell you what, all the ones I have tried are good. They have mango chili. I'm not a hot kind of guy, but this one has got a nice little kick to it. It's got like a sweet heat. It is good. My favorite, believe it or not, is grapefruit. Then it would be citrus and orange. And right now is a perfect time to try Element because they are offering you a free sample pack. You're gonna get eight free single servings so you can try all eight of their flavors. So go to drinkelement.com slash slumna. D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash slumna. Thanks Element for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna finish drinking mine and then we'll get back to the show. We need to put a top ledger board on to close off so we don't see all of the ends of the rafters. So I gotta get up there I'm gonna put a board to rest it on, and I gotta get a measurement. We can cut our two by eight to length, and that'll just make it look so much nicer. 
It's a little frosty up here this morning. All the strapping's covered in ice. One ninety one and a half. Okay, one ninety one and a half will do it. Al has to be innovative on his projects when they're especially when they're high up because his helpers get a heights. And even if I end up being brave enough to go up, I end up being so tense and everything that I probably just, well, no, probably is about it. I make it worse. So on myself and I'm not a very good help for that. Did you ever check to see if the lights were working last night? I didn't see it working. Oh no, they don't work. I was wondering if there's an on off switch or something. Really? I don't think so. Nope. There ain't nothing, so I don't know. You they just should've... screwed all those in and they don't work? They should have charged up yesterday, I would have thought. I'll have to keep an eye on them. Maybe they're not super bright. Maybe I'll just bring it into my cool room with the lights off and see. Yeah. Give them a little while today because that sun's out. Get the frost off. You just cut in half. Oh, nope. oh, so close. I put a longer board out there. It's like an inch too oh, short. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like slides past it. Yeah, it just slides. It's like missing it by like that much. Yeah. So I'm just gonna stick a wider board out there and then I can catch it and I can push it in. Right. Let me stick this up above and then I'll get down and fix it. Or ah, there we go. That did it. I like that. Just to let you guys know that I don't breathe probably at all when he's doing this stuff. I don't know what your footage looks like on that side of the camera. We don't want to spill that. We better move it. Forrest is coming to check out your work. I want to see if he can climb on it. Uh. 
Oh. 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 Wow. Bummer. So now let's try it this way. Okay, hold on. Hmm. I'm gonna get the 2x8 back up here and I'll use my strap and I'll strap it to the strap in so it can move some, but it can't fall. So I'll come back to there. Let me get it back up in place first. All right, we'll try that. So you gotta make sure we have enough room so it can move. I can't have it too tight. So, give that a go. Okay, I like that. We are 138 and 3 eighths from long point to short point. Well, a 12 foot two by eight is a lot easier to handle than a 16 foot long one. Well, I didn't realize it was going to be siding and not roofing. I mean, it is roofing, but... It's all the same. Yeah, I just thought it was going to be black. And not oh. Charcoal. But no. that's cool. That's what we have. I think I just bring over the whole pallet because it's easier than unloading it. We need the ones on top. So I believe we're going to use these ones first. And then we'll use the long ones. So we're going to have more than... We're going to have a decent overlap, but... This is cut off from I don't know what, and then the one below it is leftover eight foot pieces. Must be from down below because I didn't subtract the doors. Right. And, and it might actually be, because there was kind of two different, you know what I mean? Like we had the rib style a little bit different. No, the, all the stuff that we're using is from this build. Okay. So we have the lower eight foot pieces from leftover from the door. And then these pieces that we cut, because these are all cut ones. I'm not sure what they're cut from.
All right, I got my overhang where I want it. You guys like this one, huh? I don't know, Mark, you like both? You're not sure? <laughs> I'll put a screw in right here afterwards. I guess we're, I guess we're going back here. So I gotta take that set of screws out I just put in. So they'll get overlapped here and here, okay. That works, because eight feet will be there. Okay, I'm glad I checked it and didn't screw them all in. You guys like the sun, huh? How did I get up there? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We need to stop here on getting the metal roof up. Time has ran out for the day. We have a couple of things we need to go run out and do. So we can't finish this up. I was hoping to get all the metal out today, but we have a few other prior engagements that we need to go do. So yeah, we'll finish that up in the next video, which will be in the morning for us. And then we can get the cattle shoot in here. And then once the cattle shoot is in, we can finish getting the front bracing up and then I have some more screws I want to put in up high. But I want to be able to get to the front of the building with the pallet forks so I can get up high and screw down, so finish screwing up above and then the very top of the tin. But with the cattle chute being right here, I can't get the tractor right here. And then we'll get the cattle chute in and then we'll get the bracing up and then we can finish screwing it. And then that project will be done, almost. We still need to get more stone in the barnyard and we're going to have to make like a little diverter from the fence into the squeeze chute. But we can either do, we can do that that shouldn't be too bad. And then we can finish on the barn addition and then we can get the egg layers inside the barn addition and I can't wait to see how many eggs they lay for us this winter. But this is where we're gonna end this part of the project. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. And we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.